Greetings everyone, Marvin Four here with another Kayak DIY as today we are going to be installing a gear track on this Pelican Bass Raider 10E. Now I'm installing this because it's going to be used to, in, to hold a rod stager that I bought that I'm so excited about. So today I've got my reciprocating saw here, which we won't need. I honestly just need the battery out of it for my electric drill and that's going to do it. We're gonna do that. We're gonna get the rest of the tools and, uh, that we're gonna need. We're gonna show you what we need and then we're gonna get started. So stick with us. This video is intended for all ages. All right, so what you're gonna need is 12 number eight, five eighths inch Phillips head screws. Those are gonna be great. We got a Sharpie. We got an eighth inch drill bit. We've got a Phillips head screwdriver to tighten our screws down at the end. We've got an eight inch Scotty gear track that we're gonna install. And we've got a Mokita uh, 12 volt lithium ion cordless drill. Phillips bit and the drill bit will go inside it also. Now that's all we're gonna need. And we're gonna be able to install that anywhere on this plastic boat where it'll mount, where it's full size, where it can fit flat. That's what you want. And the only reason why we're drilling this is this is a much older boat. This is an older Pelican Bass Raider. It's an older plastic, had a lot of exposure to the sun. So by drilling it before you put the screws in, you're gonna lessen the chance of the cr uh, plastic cracking under pressure um, later. Usually it doesn't happen instantly, but it does, will happen later, but it won't always happen. And, but it being better safe than sorry, that's what we're going to do here today. Now the panel you saw is my casting deck. It's removable off the front of my boat. Uh, this is the front of the boat. And as you see the original owner, we've got a place back here. We've got to do some plastic repair. If you guys would like, I'm going to do a video and show you guys how to do that really simple it's not over the top it's not as in, as involved as people think it is but as you see we have some holes here we'll fill those in later but right now i want to be able to at least get to these so what we're going to do is we're going to mount this right there on that line because we want it to be far enough over where our rod stager will be able to be installed to keep it where we can install our fishing rods and it's going to be that much easier i guess that's about right where we want it so this is the second one. There's another one up front. It's when it was on the boat when I got it, and I'm excited. I can't wait. So all I'm gonna do to start with is being I have one up front, and I wanna square it up, and I'm gonna do the opposite. I'm gonna do the rear corner, just like that. And that's gonna give me the right corners to what I need. Now I'm gonna put my Phillips bit and put my screws in and do that all the way around. Now, I'm not going to make you watch that, but through the miracles of YouTube, you're going to see it. Now, the one thing I will say, and you've heard me say this before, if you followed the channel at all, don't tighten them down with an electric drill. You just want to get it close and let it come back where you finish it with the screwdriver at the end. Now that I got it square, I know it's right where I want it. I can come back and just... <laughs> we'll come back, we're gonna pop these out and make sure we get all that plastic out of there. Phillips bit back on and run the rest of the screws in. Thank you. 
Get a more. Boom. Just like that. Now that's gonna allow us to install a whole bunch of different gears. So just like that, as you see, super easy install, not a big deal. Now it doesn't matter if you're installing this on this or on a pellet, on a paddle board, as long as it's a plastic, hard plastic one and not like an inflatable. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's a kayak. Uh, it doesn't, you know, these, these things can be installed just about anywhere. As long as you've got a flat surface, it works, it works great. And it allows you to install stuff like this. This is my one of my GoPro mounts. Uh, this one right here is a universal mount. It'll hold rod holders, it'll hold camera booms, it'll hold all kinds of cool little stuff. I got my Jack Russell sneaking up behind me here. And it's very cool. Now, the next project I will be sharing with you is why I'm doing this. And it's a really cool uh, rod stager that I found and I'm excited to use it. I'm really excited to put this on this boat and I also plan on using it on other boats that I have, other kayaks. So thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you found this interesting. Hope you found it helpful. And if you did, give it the old thumbs up. Make sure you're new, if you're new to our channel, you give it the old thumbs up and you subscribe. Blah, 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 blah. With that, I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, give it the old thumbs up. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you're new to our channel and not part of this community, guys, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell and get notified every time I post a new video. I'll put a link down below to where you can find various gear tracks. You can find them at Academy and Dick's, or you can find them online at places like Amazon or um, Yak Gadget, um, Tackle Warehouse, all kinds of places have it now. Uh, but thanks again. Hope you liked it. Hope it helped and look forward to seeing me next week. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you have a great week and remember to take time to get out there. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy nature. Be prepared and stay safe. God bless, guys. We'll see you soon.